So our washer has not been um, properly washing the clothes. They come out sopping wet. Um, they're very, like very mushy wet when they come out. The, the washing machine spins, it cleans the clothes, it goes through all the cycles, everything seems fine, but the clothes still come out sopping wet. So I got a tip from someone to check out the drain clog. So I flipped this over and this is the wash machine inside and then, you know, it tumbles. And then this is the drain pump right here. Commonly these need to be repaired. But today I'm taking apart the drain clog uh, or the, the drain pump tube, whatever we're gonna call it. And uh, I ran actually, there's a diagnostic code you can run on this that uh, goes through cycles and actually tell you. Um, I'll do a demo of that in a minute. Uh, but look, so I went to take this apart and I'm like, what is this? The reason our washer has not been draining is because a sock was clogged in the tube. That would explain why our washer hasn't worked. So taking this out, see if there's anything else. It looks pretty clear from here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back together and we'll run through the diagnostic codes again and see if it's working. But as you can see, you know, this could have cost me whatever, 200 bucks for someone to come out, look at it, fix it, only to find a sock. Sometimes you just gotta use a little intuition. Think about why it's wet. It's wet because the water can't drain. Why can't the water drain? Well, what are the parts? There's a pump. So the pump could have gone bad. Or this is clogged. Or commonly you have this, which could be clogged, which this is probably never gonna be clogged from the backside drain. So I got the sock out of here. I'm gonna put everything back together. I'm gonna run a test. All right, to finish up on this video, we're gonna give this a test to see if it's working. This comes with a diagnostic manual to tell you all the codes that could be wrong. Earlier when I ran this, I was getting a clogged drain pump, EF1. This tells you how to run through the instructions. So I'm just gonna do it real quick. So it says you start, cancel, hold these, hold, boom, it's in diagnostic mode. Now if you look at the instructions, they tell you all the LEDs will flash, turn the program knob one click, that'll be hot water, two clicks, bleach water solenoid, three clicks, bleach and wash water, four clicks, door lock solenoid and the loading door can be opened. Uh, five, wash, fill, and tumble. Six, drain pump. Okay, click one. You can hear the water running. Like I said, that was the hot water solenoid. Cold water solenoid. Three, four, five, and then while this is going, there's water filling up. So that's good, good test, lots of water. Now the main test we wanna test is six, which is drain pump. So let that fill up a little bit. All right, here we go. Six, all right. You can kinda hear the drain pump going. This is loading, it's draining in here. Probably can't hear it because of the a lot of non noise, but I can hear my uh, tank down there filling up. All right, so that, I don't see any water. I mean, this is wet from the, the ring, but there's no water in there, which is good. It sounds like the drain pump's working. And then finally, you can turn it and get your air codes read. This is probably gonna read, yeah, it's gonna read EF1 for clogged drain pump. I'm pretty sure I need to clear, I've done this before. I'm pretty sure I need to clear the memory so it's fresh. I think this goes through a cycle of like the history of all error codes before it, um, you know, in case you want to go back to the previous like E21, that is E21, water not pumping out fast enough. And then I also had an EF1 clogged drain pump. So I removed that sock, socks in there. So I think I have to clear the the codes. I forgot how to do that, I have to read the manual. But I ran through the diagnostic tests. Everything seemed to run. I even had the drain pump going. If the drain pump wasn't working, I know it's hard to tell on this camera, but I would see a ton of water down there. Um, it looks pretty dry, like there's no water. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a regular wash uh, and see what happens.